Yo, 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 guys. Welcome back to the channel. I'm so sorry I haven't uploaded a video in a while, guys. I have been busy, uh, busy, busy playing Yu-Gi-Oh! at my locals, and I finally managed to build my branded Despia deck to its full completion. If you guys want to see a deck profile, um, let me know in the comments, because I don't think this deck's been hit at all, and it's got no problems with it, guys. And, uh, yeah, on Thursday, which was two days ago, I managed to go... I lost the first game against Tenpai, but then we're 1-1, and I've got to finish the game next week because the, the game took a long time. But yeah, this guy, this deck, guys, can keep up with any deck, I can assure you, if you play it correctly. So in this video, guys, I'm going to be showing you two different hands. One of them, this would be the first hand, is going to make a really formidable board with your Omni Negates and just all sorts, guys, uh, effects, interruptions, the works. This hand is capable of a lot, guys, and I'm going to show you how right now. Stick around, guys. At right, first, you can activate your branded opening to discard your Despian Tragedy, and that's going to special your Aluba from a deck, from your deck. And then, chain link one, chain link two, your Tragedy is going to add a Despian monster from your deck to your hand, which will be your Guiding Quim. And then your Aluba will get you branded fusion from the deck. Really, really nice. Then guys, your branded opening goes to the grave. Then guys, you can normal summon your guiding quem. And that'll let you sell <coughs> let you send a branded card to the graveyard. This card guys, you can either if you time it well face down, it's hard to actually resolve. So the best way to do it for me is just get it to the graveyard, guys, as soon as you can, because then you'll add your branded fusion back uh, at the end of the turn. So yeah, we've done that with the Quim. Then we activate um, fusion deployment to reveal the Grang Guignol, reveal the Grang, and then special summon the Blazing Cartesia. So how good this deck is, guys. Just literally, it's just got everything on. It's just pure gas. It's literally pure gas. Then guys, activate your branded fusion. So the only thing they could have probably asked before this was when they added the branded fusion or the quem. But um, you're very lucky if you didn't get asked, guys. So that's what I'm showing you. So then you send your bestial rebellion and fawn of Albas to the graveyard to make Albion the branded dragon. You only make sanctify, guys, when you want to get gimmick puppets. You can make it any time, but it is best to do it when you gimmick pop it, guys. And then, um, Albion's effect. You can fusion summon again by banishing materials from your hand or graveyard or field. So here, guys, you can banish your Dark Magician and the Fallen of Albaz. And that will make you your Dragoon. So it's up to you guys, but I like to put the Dragoon up there so he knows he's powerful i love dragoon guys one of my favorite cards in the game very 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 powerful then guys you're going to um, tribute your albion for your bestial rebellion and then this is going to do two things it's going to do in the end phase your albion is going to get a um, branded spell from the deck which will be branded red and then rebellion right now guys is going to get you branded lost so then you set your branded loss, guys. Then you can activate your Blazing Cartesia, Blazing Cartesia effect to fuse him and your Aluba to make the Grand Guignol. And then you'll use Grand Guignol's effect to um, send a, a level 6 or higher monster from your extra deck or deck to the graveyard. And that for me, guys, will be the Titinoclad. <coughs> and at this point guys you could use your quem effect because a card left the extra deck you could um, special summit something from the grave but right now all these will this will be an interruption on your opponent's turn this is going to get you a branded card this will get you a branded fusion back and um, yeah you can banish this uh, but you can't do it this turn because you can only use one effect per turn so next turn you can banish that to get another branded spell from the deck uh, from the graveyard and add it back to the hand. 
So uh, we've made this board. Um, also got we've got also got tri brigade mercury in hand. So we'll try and get all these out of the way. So first of all, guys, um, banish your branded retribution to make a to get your branded fusion. And then your Albion is going to set a branded red from the deck. Right there. And then your Titinoclad is going to special summon a Fawn of Albaz or Dogmatica card from the deck in the end phase because it was in the graveyard. If this card is in the graveyard because it was sent there this turn, you can add to your hand or special summon. One Fallen of Albaz or Dogmatica from your deck. So there you go, guys. Special summoned. So this is a pretty tasty looking board, guys, going into your opponent's turn. Not even going to lie. And also, um, Blazing Cartesia, because a Fusion Monster was sent to the graveyard, Blazing Cartesia comes back to your hand. Which is insane. So also, on your opponent's turn, if you do, you do the thing again, which I'll show you, so... You pass turn, guys. Then you can either, if you time it correctly, you can uh, wipe one of their monsters. But um, if you just do it straight away, which I'll show you guys, activate your um, branded in red. Grab a luba. Add a luba to your hand, and then you confusion summon your fawn of albaz and your grand guignol to make your mirror jade. And then also grand guignol in the graveyard is also a. An uh, interruption because if your opponent special summons, you can banish it to make a Lula Willif on the board. So then your branded in red goes there, and then your branded lost guys. Uh, if you act, uh, if, if you fusion summoned, you can add a fawn of Albaz to your hand. So right, this is on your opponent's turn. So you've got interruption, and this will be a um, super poly on your opponent's turn. Then you've got this interruption, you've got um, the discard for this, and you've got all these interruptions in the graveyard as well, guys. How about that for a hand? It's just amazing, guys. So and then, as you see, your follow-up will just be insane. Branded Fusion, Blazing Cartesia. I mean, you could literally just pop off again. Let's just pop off again, guys. Blazing Cartesia. I'm pretty sure we do have another Fawn of Albars. I'm not sure, though, guys. Um... Are they all in the graveyard? Yeah, I think we've used them all. So, you, say you couldn't use your branded fusion. You could normal summon your Fawn of Albaz if they had a monster. Discard, fuse them together. And because you control the Fawn of Albaz, you can special summon the Cartesia. And then you do these two guys. So, you can do it on your opponent's turn. Do the Fawn of Albaz. And then make your. the Sank. Obviously, we're not using Gimmick Puppet there, guys, but he is quite a big beat stick. He is a big beat stick. Very big. So, if you didn't want to do that, so say if you did, uh, you had the Blazing Cartesia, you normal summoned your Albaz, special summon Blazing Cartesia. You could summon the three. Oh, no, you can't. You have to do a card from in hand. So, you could do your Aluba, your Blazing Cartesia, and your Fawn of Albaz, and you could make your Guardian Chimera. And then that will allow you, if it's one card from the hand, I think you get to draw. Uh, draw cards, each of you can chill from the hand, yes. So unfortunately as well, we don't use polymerization, but he is a very big, very big monster. And if you do manage to get in the gate of this, you gain attack. So this is going to be 4,000, 3-3, three, 3. It's pretty much game. And because the card left the extra deck as well, guys, we get to bring back something. There you go. There you go, there you go guys, that's the first combo. It's pretty insane, absolutely insane as a matter of fact. So next guys, I'm gonna show you a simple gimmick puppet lock. It's very simple. I'll show you the cards that you will need in the hand. But for me, um, there's certain cards you want to do want in the hand, so if they do manage to wriggle out of it, you still want them in the gates on the board. You definitely want the gates on the board. So you do have your branded opening, your fusion deployment, your gimmick puppet, and then um, Fallen of Albaz and the Dark Magician. So this right now, guys, is broken. You right, guys? This is um, 
combo number two, the gimmick puppet lock. It doesn't look like much, guys, but we're going to have the Dragoon on the board. You're going to have the Grang, and you're going to have all sorts on the board, guys. Your Sanctifier, and they're not going to be able to summon because gimmick puppet clearly states you can special summon this card from your hand by tributing one face up exceeds monster, which we ignore all of that. If this card is special summoned, you cannot special summon any monsters for the rest of the turn except gimmick puppet monsters. So all they can do is normal summon, guys. And with that, we've got two ways of getting into it. You can do the fusion deployment, normal Albaz, and then um, go to Grang, uh, send the gimmick puppet that way. But that way is not as good because you won't get your Dragoon. So, yeah, watch this way, guys. It's much better. So activate your branded opening, guys, by discarding your gimmick puppet nightmare. Best way, guys. And that will special summon your Aluba from your deck. And then uh, activate your Aluba effect to search for branded fusion. But also, we're not going to use it straight away, guys. We're going to use the um, fusion deployment. Because you're better off getting this um, hand-trapped than your branded fusion. So fusion deployment, reveal your Grand Guignol. There he is. And then special summon your Blazing Cartesia. And I figured, guys, the best thing to do off this is to send your Masquerade. Is it Masquerade? Um, yeah, you Masquerade the Blazing Dragon. Because on your opponent's turn, it has a quick effect. While this card's in your graveyard, quick effect, you can special summon this card. So that's always there, guys, to have that in your... Arsenal. So then we're going to fuse these two together to make your Grang. Like we just said. So the Grang Grignol. And then with your Grang, you're going to send your Masquerade to the grave. Your opponent, if they're experienced, should be aware of that. But just watch out for the cool buys. <clears throat> watch out for the cool buys. Right then, guys. Next step. Brand Diffusion. Hopefully, it do, hopefully they've already uh, hand wrapped you. Excuse me. Then you're going to send your Bestial Rebellion and Fall of Albaz from deck to the graveyard to uh, special summon your Albion the Branded Dragon. Then you're going to keep that Albaz in there, guys, and then use your Albion effect to banish your Fall of Albaz and Dark Magician in hand. See how useful it is if you do hard draw the Dark Magician to make your Red Eyes Dark Dragoon. So your opponent's going to be thinking, well, if they know what the gimmick puppet is, because they might have forgot about it, to be fair, because you've done a bit more since then. <coughs> They'll be thinking, you've got no cards in your hand, you've got no negates there. But we don't have to worry about that at this specific moment in time, guys. So we've got a couple of um, graveyard effects at the end of the phase. Well, we're not ending phase yet. So Bistial Rebellion, your tribute for your Albion. And that will... Um, let you set your branded lost face up. And then I'm pretty sure your end phase is coming up. So this was what happened in the end phase, guys. Your Blazing Cartesia will come back to hand because um, Fusion Monster was sent to the grave that turn. And then your Albion, the branded dragon, will uh, set a branded spell from the deck, which will be your branded in red. So then I believe you're free to pass turn at that point. So remember guys, you've got your Cartesia in hand, but you, you are going to be needing that in a moment. So then when your opponent just completely starts the round, before they've even used a special summon, guys, because you don't want to give them any sniff. Branded in red. Get your Fawn of Albaz out of the graveyard. And then fuse these two together. Spellcaster, thingy, yeah, to make... The bad boy. Fallen of Albaz and one light spellcaster, guys. <coughs> we'll put him up there because he's the beast this time. So at this point, guys, um, you can activate your Sanctify effect straight away. So you'll select two monsters from your graveyard. Or either graveyard, but there won't be anything in there. So you select these two guys. Your Albion, the Branded, and your Gimmick Puppet. <laughs> this is where it's broken. So then you special summon your gimmick puppet in defense mode. So that's your opponent's side of the board there. That's where the gimmick puppet goes, to your opponent's side of the board. So it's like that. And then your Albion comes to your field. 
And then if you really want to rub salt in the wound, guys, you can use your masquerade effect to bring him back as well because they can't special summon, remember? So I'm pretty certain when it um, <clears throat> comes around to your turn, you're going to have a lot of uh, gas. And if they do just try to destroy one of your fusion monsters, guys, branded opening, second effect. If a fusion monster you control would be destroyed by card effect, you can banish this card and you protect your fusion monsters, guys. Any fusion monster you like. And then your Grand Guignol effect. Um, if a monster is special summoned by your opponent's activated monster effect, you can banish this card from your graveyard or field and special summon one dog mask monster from your deck. So what that, it doesn't say, it doesn't state extra deck, but you can actually, oh it does, monster from your extra deck. So one Dogmatica monster from your deck, or one Death Fear monster from your extra deck. So you banish the Grand Guignol, and you bring forth your Lulu. So this is if you really, 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 really want to do something. So if this card is sent to the graveyard, you can special summon one Light Spellcaster from your hand or deck. It's insane. And, um... Once per turn, if a card leaves the extra deck, that's including your opponent, you can make all monsters you currently control gain 500 attack. But they can't, can they? Because they're gimmick puppet locks. So, huge Lamal, guys. <coughs> so, what could they do? They'd normal summon. They, maybe they could link them two off and go into a link climb a bit, maybe. But then, say, they could, all they could do is get rid of one. And they, they couldn't really get rid of one because, well, to be fair, I haven't got a card in hand to... Um, Negate there, so they would have. They'd probably maybe get rid of one or two. So say if they did that, you'd still have a lot of gas there to fucking do stuff, wouldn't you? Twenty-five, 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 three. So guys, there's the combos. Oh, these branded decks, man, they take a lot of work. You've got to keep testing the hands, guys. Keep shuffling those decks. Keep bringing yourself new test hands. Keep seeing what boards you can make. It's like I was saying, you can send Rimbrum, you can send you to Tinnaclad, you can special summon your Quatris to protect fusion monsters. You know, it's just insane. The deck is insane, guys. Well, that's going to wrap up the video, guys. Appreciate you guys watching. And yeah, if you do like it, guys, leave it a thumbs up. And yeah, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Peace.